Good evening, and welcome to the virtual version of Choosing Your GCSE, the options evening online. For the first time in your academic career, you get to make a choice that actually impacts what you take as a certain subject. Now, previously, in year 7, 8, and 9, as a school, we've told you what you take. You take your English, your math, your philosophy, your history, your geography, your dance, your drama, whatever it happens to be. But now, after having three years of exposure to these different subjects, you have an opportunity to decide which of these you get to take a bit further. Now, some of the choices we've already made for you. Obviously, there are certain core requirements we have to teach, such as English, maths, and science. So that's the first choice. You get a choice on whether to take triple science, if you're invited to do so, or trilogy science. More about that in a minute. Everybody also takes two hours a week of PE games. They also have PSHE, which is the LB for Life program, but now where it becomes really special. It was quite exciting, and certainly I didn't have these choices when I was your age living in the States. You have a choice of four different GCSE options. So this is where, for the first time, you get a chance to influence what you want to take. So what about this science choice? That's the first thing we'll look at. Triple science. Now, triple science is exactly what it says on the tin. You have three disparate GCSEs, one for each science, biology, chemistry, and physics. Triple science is difficult, and actually it is for pupils who are likely to achieve between a six to a nine. So the more scientifically inclined students are the ones who have been invited to do this. Um, it is the best preparation if you intend to do G science at GC uh, sorry, beyond GCSE at A level and perhaps even further. Um, and the entry level, because it's difficulty to get into the A level, would be making at least a six in these particular subjects. But again, it is by invitation because obviously not everybody would want to do that degree of science. So if you've been invited to do so, think hard about it. You may wish to take that invitation up and choose triple science. Do keep in mind that if you choose triple science, it does count as one of your four GCSE options choices. Now, trilogy science, or combined science as it's also known, to make it very complicated, um, is actually what it says here, two GCSEs. So instead of three GCSEs for the triple science, you have two GS GCSEs, which are made up of a combination of the three sciences. Um, this is for people who find science either a challenge or, like many people, just don't wish to pursue science post-GCSE. You get a good background in science, but you don't want to take it further at A level or beyond. What is important to know, though, is that if you opt out of triple science and choose trilogy science at GCSE, if you make a seven or higher, you are still eligible to change your mind and do science at A level and then beyond. So it's something to keep in mind. Now, you will have received an invitation from the science department telling you which particular track they think you're best suited. So please follow their information, their instructions. Speak to your science teachers if you don't understand, um, but then make your choice depending on that. The options choices are quite broad. Um, in fact, we have these particular 16 options choices, which we're offering next year. And you can see we have art, business studies, computer science, design technology, drama, food preparation and nutrition, French and geography, history, media studies, music, philosophy, photography, Spanish, sport, which is a BTEC level two, and textiles. Now, the sharp-eyed amongst you will notice the little red asterisk next to music, and that's because music is for highly able musicians by invitation only. So it's not something that I, for example, could have chosen myself. I would have to be invited to do so because it is a very difficult GCSE, which we need to make sure the people taking that subject are the ones who are going to reach a certain standard or higher. 
So these are the options choices that you have a choice from. Now, how do you decide on what to take? It's, it's not an easy decision, and it surely is not something that needs to be taken lightly. The first thing to think to yourself is, do you want to be more traditional or non-traditional in your GCSE choices? Do you want to stick with all GCSEs, or do you want to do a combination, perhaps, of GCSEs and BTECs? Perhaps a diploma, like the food and nutrition one. It's, it's your choice, but you need to think carefully about whether to stick with the traditional route or maybe branch out to do something that is a little bit different. Perhaps you want to do a lot of academic subjects like geography, philosophy, um, and history, but also want to do something that's more hands-on. So you do design technology or photography, textiles, or one of these. Again, it's your choice, which is an opportunity you really need to think carefully, long, and hard about. The next thing, ask yourself, are you going to enjoy this particular subject? There's no point in doing a subject if you're not going to enjoy it most of the time. And that's an important thing to keep in mind. I love teaching philosophy. It's one of my favorite subjects. And I, I read about it. I, I think about it. I mean, I do so much with it. But I wouldn't say I enjoy it 100% of the time. I enjoy it most of the time. So when you choose a subject, there are going to be times when you think to yourself, I really don't find this all that exciting, but if you find that to be the minimal reaction, then possibly that subject is enjoyable enough that you'd want to do it at GCSE. What are your strengths? Are you a writer, a reader? Do you enjoy speaking, debating? Think about those strengths. Are you more hands-on? Do you want to make things, do things physically? Are you, I mean, this type of thought you need to have about yourself will impact and inform which GCSEs you choose or don't choose to take. So what are your strengths? Really think. Take some time. Think to yourself, what am I good at? What, you know, what, what would I like to do? What would I really s perhaps um, you know, benefit from taking if I take these GCSEs? Ask for some advice. Now, my personal experience, as both a parent and a person, is that advice is not something that most of us like to take. Um, but advice is very important. So you need to speak with your parents, speak with your guardians, speak to your teachers, the heads of department, even speak to your friends, as it says, and find out you know, what they think, perhaps, you would be really good at taking with regard to your GCSEs. Do some research. Go online, read the options booklet, which there'll be a link to on the webpage, to find out what these courses are all about. They're very different at GCSE than they might have been perhaps at Key Stage 3. So find out what it is you are going to be delving into at GCSE philosophy, at GCSE history, at GCSE photography, for example, that's very different from your performing arts, your art um, fact rotation you have in year 9 at the moment. So it's something to look into. Workload. Some GCSEs are more difficult than others with regard to the amount of work. Some have coursework, some don't. Some have projects, others don't. It depends on the actual course. So again, as part of that research, look into what type of workload and balance it out. If you are going to take lots of heavy subjects, if you're going to be doing you know, lots of English and English literature, you're going to do your top set or your second set maths, you're going to be doing your triple science, um, you're going to do your, your academic courses, maybe something that's a little less academic and a bit more applied might be something to kind of balance that workload out too. So really think carefully. Also think about trying something new. Business studies is a very popular subject. You've never had business studies before. Find out about it. Maybe it's something that you'd like to try out and delve into as part of the GCSE, for example. Career plans. I find it extremely ironic to be speaking to 13, 14 year olds about career plans, especially as supposedly the majority of the careers you're going to have don't exist yet. But all of you, somewhere in there, if you even think you don't, have an idea about what you want to do sometime off in the future with regard to a career or a job or, or some sort of activity after school whatever that happens to be. So think about that. Now, just because you want to go into business doesn't mean you need to do business studies. Just because you want to go into medicine doesn't mean you need to avoid subjects like history and only do the sciences. I mean, these careers require different skills. And the better rounded you are, the better of a candidate for further careers you will possibly be. And finally, your friends. Though they're not the most important 
aspect with regarding um, to your choice for GCSEs. Surely find out what your friends are taking. Find out what your friends aren't taking. And if you know if all my friends are taking that subject, but that's not for me, maybe don't take it. Or the exact opposite, but talk to people. Don't make this decision on your own. And there's something else to keep in mind too, is that these are your GCSEs. They're not your parents' GCSEs. And just because I like a subject, for example, doesn't mean I expect my child to like those subjects and necessarily take the same ones I would have. It's up to you what you take. Please make sure, parents, to support your children in that decision. So here is the process that we go through to choose the GCSEs. Obviously, you need to pay careful attention tonight as you go into our virtual sports hall in a moment and visit the different virtual kiosks that would have been, in any normal year, set up in the sports hall for you to speak to the heads of department and various students. Pay attention to what they say. And if you have any questions, there'll be an opportunity, both in school and also online via email and the like, to ask teachers later in the week. Consider the range of options. Read the options booklet, which is online in the LVS Senior School section of the webpage. Discuss your choices. What are your thoughts? Be, be willing to change your mind. You know, just because you think this is what you want to do doesn't mean that is always what it's going to do. So change your mind based on their advice, your parents, your teacher, your friends. Change your mind based on what you might discover tonight. Maybe you've never thought of something in the way you have until tonight before, and you want to delve further into that. So please, be willing to make that choice. So then you come down to the form, and the form is an online form you'll be receiving um, through Teams over the next couple of days. It's very simple. It takes about, I think, an average of 27 seconds to fill out, um, but you fill it in. Make sure you choose your science combination. Remember, triple science is by invitation only, and it counts as an options choice. Then you choose your four options choices, and then you also choose one alternative. Because while we do try very hard to meet everybody's desire and give them the choices that they want, inevitably there's going to be some course that might not necessarily run. So just in case, that's there as an alternate. So it's the fourth four choices, and a fifth one just in case. And finally, you submit that options choice form by Friday the 4th of December, and we'll start the process. And hopefully over the next few months, you'll find out exactly what it is you're going to take. Well, thank you very much for listening, and I hope that I helped you in some ways getting your set up for tonight. Um, but now we'd like to invite you over to our virtual sports hall, where you can go to a variety of subjects, what would have been in kiosks, but are tonight on an interface designed by Mr. Cutler Ames for your enjoyment. Take care and stay safe.